Today, I'd like to show you how Tomb Raider Game of the Year Edition runs on Android with the help of the Winlater PC emulator. You likely already know, but Winlater recently received an update to version 8.0, and with it came the added support for the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chips, along with some many other nice additions. So let me show you how the game runs on my Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 phone, the Redmi K70 Pro. So first, let me show you how I have the container set up. Go into the app, go into edit the main container. And you can see I have the screen resolution set to 720p. I'm using the Adreno Turnip graphics driver since the device has a Snapdragon SOC. We're on the DXVK wrapper with the audio driver set to ALSA. The video memory size has been changed to four gigabytes. Over in the environment variables, I did change the Mesa shader cache to one gigabyte and over in advanced you can see we have it set to aggressive for the startup selection so that the container will kill all of those extra services but the rest has been left to the default setting now that we have started the container Let's go ahead and load up Tomb Raider. Now, I haven't gotten very far in the game so far, since this is a game that I've already completed on the PC. But seeing how the game runs on a smartphone like this is incredibly impressive. You can see we're able to jump right into our game fairly quickly. The load times here aren't that bad. And you'll notice right off the bat we are hitting more than 30 frames per second. And this is something that I've noticed in the game so far. The performance does generally stay over 30 frames per second. However, in some cases, when the environmental effects go a bit crazy, it can cause the frame rate to drop just a little bit. It doesn't make the game laggy or stutter or anything. You just notice that the animation is a little less fluid than you would like. Just like here, you can see it dropping down to about 21 frames per second. Now, during gameplay, you likely will notice that there are some instances when the shadows will look blocky and out of place. I noticed this earlier in the cave intro level, but it didn't last very long at all. You can see even during a lot of this action heavy spots, performance is still doing really well.
if you're having difficulty getting the game to perform at a respectable level, like maybe you have an older flagship or a mid-range one, then the first thing that I suggest is going through the menus here and changing the default graphics settings. Changing some of these to a lower quality, a lower texture quality, dropping shadows down, the shadow resolution. A lot of these can be dropped to help boost the performance a little bit. And you can also go in and change the screen resolution from the container page as well. All things considered though, I've been very happy to see how Tomb Raider Game of the Year Edition performs like this. I have not noticed any crashes yet, although I haven't really had any extended play sessions with the game yet. So let me know if this is something that you've had experience with down in the comment section below. I downloaded the offline installer for this game from my GOG library where it's currently on sale for less than $4. And I'll be sure to have that link down in the video description below, as well as the pinned comment for anyone who is interested in buying the game. I would much rather see those of us within the Android community spend money on a full game like this than on in-app purchases of free-to-play games. So please, remember to like this video while also subscribing to the channel for more Android emulation content like this.